farm hands, farm boy reef here. Welcome to the lab. So on this episode of lab, we're gonna start adding some uh, marine fish to our 60 gallon tanks we got here. So you guys can see I have the bags floating. I've been acclimating uh, these fish for over an hour now. Uh, the way that I like to do it, I like to add a little bit of the tank water into the bags so we make sure to keep the temperature and the salinity the same so we don't end up uh, shocking that fish. So the three tanks I have right here, um, we got Krypton, we have uh, Osgard and we got uh, Tatuan. So these three tanks, we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put a yellow tang in each one, and then as we're gonna we're gonna learn a little information about these yellow tangs, and we're gonna keep adding all kinds of different marine fish to these tanks, and then we're gonna start into the corals and learn all about different corals and different techniques and what we're gonna do. So these uh, tangs, they've been uh, acclimating, so we're gonna make sure you always acclimate your fish. You don't want to shock them. You want to make sure you have the best environment as possible as well. So right now, I'm going to end up, they're almost done acclimating and then we're going to place them in the tank and we're going to learn a little bit about them guys. Alright gang, so the fish are ready to go. So let's uh, let's start with Krypton tank and let's uh, release uh, this yellow tank. Always remember, very important, is always quarantine your fish. Uh, depends on some of your local fish stores will have the fish already quarantined for weeks to make sure you know that they're eating, that they have no parasites. So same with these uh, fish as well, they've been in quarantine for a long time and I know they're healthy, so that's why we're releasing them into these tanks. So let's start with Krypton, let's get this one in. So we got our first uh, yellow tank placed in. So let's uh, move on to uh, Asgard. So I end up, I got these fish uh, like really small, so they have a lot of time to uh, grow into these tanks. They're just, uh, they're probably about two inches, these tanks. So let's have a uh, do Tato one. There we go, so we have a yellow tank per, uh, per tank now. These are looking great. I can't wait to keep adding more fish. So you guys can see, I'll bring you guys up close to personal so you guys can uh, check these out. Because I want to do is I want to document the takes uh, right from the start so we have all our fish in there and our corals. So we can do like a whole time lapse of uh, these tanks starting right from, uh, from scratch. And then we can time lapse that watching the fish, the corals grow for like a year. And then we can just be able to check it out and see the whole progress. So look at that, they look great. Looks perfect. All right, guys. So let's uh, we'll learn, we're gonna learn a little bit about these tangs as well. All right, guys. So we're at the Asgard tank, as you guys can see, with that beautiful uh, yellow tang. He's about two inches. So he's very small. I want to make sure they had lots of uh, great uh, ample room to uh, swim around. Um, in these tanks, I end up I'm gonna house one yellow tang per tank here, so make sure they have enough room to swim, and then I can add different tangs, so there will be no aggression. If I end up adding another yellow tang, they end up could big fight and start uh, picking away at their fins, and it's not good. So a, a few uh, things of uh, pointers about uh, these fish, they're great uh, to have. They come right out of uh, Hawaii, Indonesia, the Great Barrier Reef. They're very sought after fish in this hobby. Um, one thing, they're very active, so they give your tank a lot of uh, life uh, moving around in there as well. Um, one thing they're really good to do for cleaning up is uh, different algaes. They're great at that. They pick away, keep everything nice and tidy and clean. Um, you'll want to end up feeding different uh, seaweeds uh, three times a week. Oh, it's a microalgae as well, helps with their immune system, and plus it doesn't cause as much aggression uh, towards other tangs as well, if they're a lot happier. And you wanna make sure to keep them uh, really healthy and less stressed. If you have less stress, you don't get uh, breakouts of ick. It's pretty much one of the most uh, common problems is that when you've got different fish picking on each other, ends up causing different uh, disease, and the biggest one is ick, and you don't definitely wanna get that in your reef tank right out of the gate. Um, a couple other things too, uh, that is when I said like they love seaweed, we'll end up, we're going to get some uh, nice seaweed uh, clips and then we're going to end up feeding them different seaweeds and plus uh, meaty foods as well. Um, all my fish here in the lab, um, they're, gonna they're going to be, uh, they're going to be eating uh, Rod's food. This stuff right here, this is great. This is what we're going to end up uh, feeding these uh, fish for a year as well. So I can't wait to give them a sample of uh, Rod's food, it's going to be great. So. A couple other things as well, uh, so the water conditions, they like about 72 to 78 uh, degrees Fahrenheit to keep them uh, happy, nice temperature 
uh, in their water. So the, the more you keep these fish happy, the more like in their home, you're not gonna have all the different aggressions and stress as well, guys. So we got the, the Krypton tank. As you guys can see, there's our yellow tank. He's looking really healthy, about two to three inches. I'll bring you guys in nice and close and check him out. Nice little guy. And then uh, let's uh, move on to Housegard. So there he is, he's finding nice little caves in his area. There he goes, he's already hiding already. And then uh, we have, end up over here. We got uh, Tatawan. Since I put him in there, he's hiding in the back. I don't know if we can actually see him here. He's hiding right there. See if I can zoom you guys in. He's hiding right there. There he is. This one's a little, he's hiding a little bit. So we're going to start getting all these different fish in here. I can't wait to get these all filled up with uh, fish and corals. It's going to be great guys. All right, gang, so that's uh, the yellow tanks. We got in all these tanks. Can't wait to move on and get all the other different kinds of fish and show you guys and uh, teach you guys a bit of little information about them as well. So we got Krypton, we got Asgard, and we got Tatawan. These are our three tanks that we're gonna be running for a year. And we got our fish and we're starting now, gang. So hopefully you guys tune in the same time, same place next week and see what other fish are gonna be coming up, all right? Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and hit the like button.